Okay, so here we go. We're off. Still no idea what we're doing, but I've cut out um, the folio journal from Sizzix mat board. And if you haven't seen the Sizzix mat board before, it's sheets of six by thirteen compressed board. You get six sheets in a packet. Not sure how much they are um, off the top of my head, but they're absolutely brilliant and the right length for cutting out your journals and they are a fabulous surface to work on. They take mediums really well. I've watercoloured on them, painted on them, used lots of different things. Obviously we, we stick a lot of paper to them as well. So I've actually started um, already by just doing a layer of transparent gesso over the top of the outside cover because I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it and I just thought, mm, okay, layer of gesso sets the, um, sets the pace. We can do whatever we want. Now, I've been watching Trish Latimer, who's so inspirational. I mean, she's not only is she a great friend, but she's such a talented artist and she does all these fantastic pieces of art using her fingers. So she kind of inspired me. Let's just get messy. So we're going to do uh, a little messy background onto the cover then we're going to set that aside to dry and then we'll we'll soup up the caravan and we're going to play with these as well these are um some of the new Sizzix products that's just come out so we've got decorative foil sheets um these are in packs of 10 and i've got the um the gold the silver in fact i've got two silvers and i've got um rose gold two rose golds and then the other thing that Sizzix have brought out which I probably won't get around to playing with today are the aluminium metal sheets so we've got the rose gold which is absolutely stunning I've got the silver and I believe they also do a gold in those as well we've also from the new um, range that Sizzix have, have brought out we've got the decorative metallic flake and we've got the 3D adhesive as well that accompanies those so we can do lots of things with those and then we've got the gilding waxes so we've got um, well luster wax <laughs> so um, we have got the silver the gold and is that a copper or a rose gold Mm -mm -mm, rose gold it's absolutely beautiful whichever one it is and um, I'm presuming that one's also a rose gold let's have a look yes it is so we're basically just going to have a play with some of the new goodies so thank you very much Sizzix and thank you Eileen Hull and you probably won't want to listen to me all the way through this so I might just pop some music on over the top okie dokie see you soon oh we're going to be using an assortment of paints as well I'll just mention that um we're going to be using some of the Martha Stewart paints and I will show these as we go along and also some of my favourite um, paper artsy orchid which I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not anymore um, I'm really not sure I think I bought about six at the time that I thought they might be being discontinued so <laughs> it's one of my favourite colours um, okie dokie let's make a start then So I think I'm going to have the caravan in Eileen's signature colours which are kind of turquoises and minty kind of colours. So the main colours for the background that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing pink, lilac and that absolutely glorious orchid. So homage, homage to Trish. <laughs> it won't be anything like Trish's of course because Trish's are, are masterpieces. Um, are mine and just not going to be masterpiece but they are going to be very pretty so that is pink carnation bring it down ever so slightly and then we've got uh, paper artsy's lilac which is gorgeous and then we've got paper artsy orchid i'm very sorry if it's discontinued but i'm going to use it anyway because i like it so let's just um just add nothing special just just get colour on it just get colour all the way across in fact this is quite um, a nice quick technique to use when you're not really knowing and what you're going to be doing just just get a layer of colour on and build the colours up pop some over there and we'll work our way along and of course we have the obligatory fur I'll just move my caravan windows out of the way there's always fur Everything I do, this fur, 
so that's where you know I've made it and it's made with love and fluff <laughs> okie dokie so we've added that we'll go on and we'll add some lilac in between now and just going to rub it on because we are actually we're going to be building the layers up so we're not going to end up with all these squiggly diddly finger marks going on and we'll just move some of those that way put some lilac around there have a little bit down there and just add as much or as little and if you're not into uh, finger painting um, use a brush have fun different colours different textures just mix them all together sorry I'm going off the edge here it's a very long journal when it's open fully so we'll pop that there and then we'll start adding some of this oh look at this see this is my favorite favorite color absolutely absolutely love this color it's just I don't know Wimbry pie where everything relates back to food have you noticed I think it's a crafting thing we always nibble don't we we get together usually <laughs> we craft and eat cake, chocolate, and very much looking forward to doing that again. I tell you, I've missed everybody. I can't wait to see everyone again. Okay, so just going to get a little colour down there, and it's all very messy, all very mixed media colour, any which way. Sorry Trish, this isn't meant to be an exact replica, it's just you inspired me with the finger painting part, not the actual, you know, <laughs> where I just slap the paint on and you place it perfectly. So, there we go, I think we've got quite a good coverage on there actually. And then I think what I want to do, just use that last bit there because I don't like wasting anything. If it's there, Let's use it. Now let's get some marks going sideways because on one side of the book I've got them going in one direction and on the other going in a different direction completely. There we go. Totally and utterly random. So I am going to just clean my fingers up. A little bit. Wipe my mat because I am notorious for ruining projects by getting paint on places I don't want paint. And I'll just make sure we clean the side end of there. And then we're going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun. I do prefer to leave these to dry naturally because you can actually bend the mat board because you know it's it's a dry product and you're adding um, liquid to it so it is going to move the fibres will move but it's a very warm day here today and it's things are drying really really quickly oh look at that that's like I don't know it's like strawberry ice cream See, I told you it's all about the food. <laughs> Let's just make sure we get this nice and dry. And I can hear tinkle tinkle bells. We're going to get company. Yep, four legged company. okay quite like how that's looking so I'm going to stop now you can go back over it and you can add some more to it if you want to do oh I tend to look a bit wet so I'll just give that a very quick blast so you could add more to it if you wanted to do or you can you know it's entirely up to you 
we could go back on and um, doodle. In fact, we could actually do a little doodling on there, couldn't we? Shall we? Hmm. We'll think about that. I'll just pop it to one side now, out of the way. I'm only going to do the outer cover today um, so that we don't drag on and then... So, all these lovely little components. Oh, that's a little squished window and we've got a wheel for the caravan as well and where's my door there he is and i thought what i would do is we'll bring the mat back in and we will try and keep as tidy as we possibly can but it won't last long with me you know it won't and oh we didn't put any extra lights on Okay, so we're going to go in and we will have some of this absolutely yummy beach glass. No wonder I like that one. Partial to a little, um, oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, uh, yeah, little mooch, little beach comb myself. And then we'll have this one, which is slightly darker. And this one is called Pool. So that's those two and which way round shall we do these dim 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 that's obviously the caravan at the base and then we have the stripe so and then we have the door so the stripe and the door probably going to be the same color uh, i'm going to have a frame on the door and a frame on the window and i might keep one of the whites in there and i don't know what to do about the wheels but um hey ho hang on Let's start with the pail. Let's just not think about it too much. And we'll go around. I'm just, I want it to be quite, I don't know, quite organic looking. So I'm not really bothered. You know, I'm quite liking the fact that I've got some lines, some swirls, little finger marks. It's all a bit, it's all a little bit distressed looking, which is quite cute, I've got to say. So, the outsides of the wheels, right, okay, so we will go with that same colour on the wheels, on the inner wheel, okay, and we'll pop that one there, and then we will swap over to this one, and who says we can't have blue wheels? We'll have blue on there. Oh, I love how shabby that's ending up. That's gorgeous. And we'll have blue on here. Oh, that's just too hand painting. Yum, 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 yum. Go away, you. Wait your turn. We'll have blue door. And we will have blue windows. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue into the caravan. Not disappeared off the desk yet, have I? So that we'll have a little bit of shading going on around here so that's going to be in keeping with the background don't need to go all the way to the bottom because we're going to be covering that part up there anyway aren't we so um and we will cover that yeah you'll see what i'm going to do in this little bit this is a bit from the window don't mind what cover that on ends up as mm -hmm. you done and then we'll add a little green to this, a bit more blue, thicken it up. Let's add a little more blue to the windows. Gosh, these are drying as I'm painting. I had such a shock when I went out today. So hot, so nice. Oh, what's going on with our weather in the UK at the minute? We're just getting everything, basically. Okay, so I'm quite happy with those. 
I'm just going to wipe my fingers off. And I'm loving how they're looking, they're quite, quite distressed, aren't they? So I'm going to slide those off here, because I'm not sure if this would melt if I put the heat gun in it. Slide you, help my door. Oops, come back, don't do it. And I can't put this on the floor now because of my little friend who's joined me. We'll decide to wash it for me. Okay, let's just give these a little dry. Oh, we've got pink on the caravan, but not bothered. Not bothered. I'm quite liking how messy these are. And the colours have merged together beautifully. That's because we've got two really good quality paints. And I love mixing and matching different brands. Not all of them match together, some of them just really fight and they, they won't blend nicely. So there we go, there's my caravan. I'm not going to put the tow bar on. I am going to build it up and I am, oh, shall I do stretch on the edges first? Oh, do you know what, we should, would you know what we can do? Oh, 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 mm. well, decisions, decisions, do we go gold, silver, or rose gold, oh, I've got to go Rose, rose gold, do rose. Okay, so we need our 3D adhesive. And there are lots of different ways that you can use this. So let's just start with one. So this is the new Sizzix 3D adhesive and this is for adhering the um, decorative file sheets and the metallic flakes and I'm sure there are lots of other goodies that we can find as well and I think there might be a few more things coming out mm. so what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to stick with the fingers yep you guessed it I'm going to take a little bit off and I'm just going to do a little bit around the edges of here I don't want to put too much on there I just want a little and a little distressed hint of and um, we'll just let that sit and we'll go around this little fella as well and put some around there here it's sticky we'll go around the door put a lot on one side of the door never mind I will add a little, oh, let's just do everything. Let's just go for it. One way of finding out when you get new goodies to play with, just play with them, see what they do. They might do something completely different to what you were expecting. So I'm gonna go around the caravan. I'm just tapping some off with my finger. Again, if you don't like using your finger with these um, products, you can use um, a stipple brush, you know. You can use a piece of foam, you could use a paintbrush. I'll put it around the bottom, there's no need, but never mind. Oh, let's just be lavish. Okie dokie, so I think we've got, whoop, oh yes, it's sticky. Um, oh yes, we've got the, uh, the little part of the wheel as well, haven't we? Now uh, we've got some on there. I'm sure we've got plenty on that one. Okay, okay. All right, get off now. Well, sit down on the table. Okay. So I've just popped my fingers in my water bowl and dried them off. Oh, I've just stuck my finger in the glue again. <laughs> oh, well, come on, we'll do it. Right, get off. Holy gamoly, Batman. Right, so I've got too much glue around the outside there. I'll give you a little wipe. I'm going to put the lid back on. So we 
don't want you drying up. Let's get rid of all these sticky bits off my fingers and let's play. So, what does it say? If it is had instructions, visit Sizzix. Ideal for embossing with your makes. Works with 3D adhesive. Ideal for cold foiling techniques as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we'll have one of these. And you do get 10 in the pack. Oh gosh, look what I've forgotten. Oh boy. With a wing. Now the wing, I actually ripped the wing as I took it out of the, um, the cardstock. I'm not bothered because it's actually um, added extra texture. So I'm going to foil the wing. Let's just dunk you in there. Lid on. Let's screw that tight again. And I'm just going to. Now I'm going to leave that one to sit a moment because that's wet. And you don't want it to be wet, you want it to just start. Um, going off so it's just tacky to touch so you can do these and then you can kind of uh, go and brew up <sighs> covered in kitchen roll now that's how sticky it is now okay so let's see now in the past we've gone in from behind so I'm sure this will be the same and um, we'll rub it onto there use that Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. That's a little bit too exciting. I'm going to stick to everything. Look at that. How cool is that? It's all distressed rose gold around the edge. Oh, that is super cute. Right, next. Who's next of the treatment? Oh, sorry, I'm going off again, aren't I? It's because I was trying to avoid the other sticky bits. <laughs> Get off, go over there. Go, shoot. And if it doesn't catch everything the first time, go back in. I would advise, though, give your hands a really good, a good washing between. Oh, I'm so sticky. But look at that. That is seriously cool. Let's do the caravan next. I should do this little wheel and I don't get stuck to it. Because <laughs> you, do, you do know that will happen. There we go. Let's pop it off the other side. And we've now got a rose gold camper van wheel. Oh, cool. Oh, I wonder if everyone's been excited about playing with these. Just doing a second go in case I've missed any bits. Oh, that is just fab. Where next? We'll do these two guys. In fact, I can put you all in together. Come on, you sticky little cutting. Great. I haven't done foiling like this for years. I'd forgotten how much fun it was. And sticky. Oh, look at that door. Oh, we've got left. We have got a wheel over there. And then we have got our wing. Oh, it's 
some of it off to see I hadn't left that to um, set for long enough but I can sort that out no worries at all in fact it looks quite cool like that still a little bit tacky let's see if we can just get some to stick no nope, let's pull the other bit off so caution wait till it's proved wait till it's no longer wet just wait till it's tacky but I quite like the distressed look of that so I am just going to pop my foil there because it's look it's loads left on there you can see the outline of the caravan but that is going to last ages that really is going to last ages um, I think I'm going to build the caravan and then we'll decide what we're going to put on this on the background of the um, book cover oh I've had an idea but we'll stick the caravan together first because I think I might go going to get a bit sticky with this idea so we will adhere this part to the caravan so this is the bottom section and I'm liking how that colours worked out that's quite cool it's very distressed looking um, I'm liking we're gonna have the wheel about there so I'm going to pop that on there and then this little wheel is going to sit inside if I don't pull the other bit off with my sticky sticky fingers come on slide in nestle And then the final little piece, the wheel, will pop into there. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I am going to have a frame around the door window because I think that will look quite good haven't got quite as much foiling on there but I'm not bothered that's fine the door's going to go there um, I'm not actually going to put a square in the middle I was going to do but um, no I'm not going to bother so I'm just going to put the door on like that And I'm going to pop my door about there. Okay. I <laughs> see it's coming on nicely now, and it's, it's quite vintage looking, isn't it? Quite shabby. A little bit too much glue, so I'll just knock some of that off. And we'll pop the window in there. And of course, we've got to have a wing shabby or not it's going on oh I like I like I like I like that is super duper cool look at that <laughs> so what are we going to do just to make sure that we've not got anything too sticky around here oh I know I'm Mm, right that's the front because when I glue my spines together the way I overlap the outer overlap goes to the back so the front always looks neat so I'm gonna have my caravan on the front okay that would be my caravan and that would be my step but I just want to add um, a little bit of detail to it first of all so I am just going to put the lid on my glue and I actually die cut the, the mandala is absolutely beautiful and this was just a quick die cut I did so I've not pushed all the holes out or anything I just want to make sure I've got no glue left on my fingers although that could be a different technique couldn't it no oh, play with the wax let's open the wax 
so obviously we're gonna have to go for the uh, rose gold Ooh. and it smells lemons it smells really really lemony so we'll start on the back inner cover um, just in case I don't like it and we basically are going to use this one that went astray as a stencil and I'm just going to take out some wax and I'm just going to rub it through and as I'm rubbing through we'll get this stencil changed into rose gold I don't want to go over the whole of the, um, the journal I just want to do some little areas just little highlights And then we'll move that round. I think that's quite cool. There we go. Oh gosh, it smells lovely. I've never had a wax. I love to wax like this. It smells so nice before. just adding texture that's fine so I'm just going to carry on I mean again you can do this with um, a sponge or a brush you know it's up to you but at the end of the day it washes so I'm not too bothered probably had worse on my fingers <laughs> Some of the paints I've used before. Craig, you're Riley. Let's just carry on going. Oh no, let's just carry on going to the front. I'm liking this. I have a small wax addiction. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. <laughs> yeah, partial to a wax. Yeah, we'll keep going. We'll have a couple more. We're we still in the camera. And this, I only die cut this from um, cardstock. I think it's American Crafts card that I use. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's one of the Sizzix cards. Gosh, we're keeping it all six today. Um, we'll do make this our last one. look how gorgeous is that that will definitely be used oh and look at the match with the foil just look at that perfect 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 um so one of the things i like to do as well because sometimes when you your spines um you break the spines to fold them sometimes you can see a little bit of white um the cardstock through those so once I've actually bent all the spines I like to go back in with wax so we'll add a little more wax around the edges get rid of that start white around the edge Eey. We're going to go down that seam along there, and then we're going to go up that seam. And I'm loving the rose gold with this pink paint. Uh, 
that I'm not bothered if I get a little more on than I wanted. It just adds, and remember once this is dry we can go back on and we can buff this. too much <laughs> it's it's a beast to keep hold of home run oh there we go growly dog dog that wants feeding. Now I've got wax on the inside but not bothered about that at all. Oh my goody Anne, I hope, I hope you can see the sheen on this because it's absolutely gorgeous. That is so so pretty. So that is the front side again. Somebody downstairs wants a tea. She's a Miriotic Shepherd, which is a um, Romanian sheepdog, for those of you that don't know. And sometimes they grow to be in quite, quite hefty beasts. They can be huge. Thankfully, Daisy didn't grow too much and she's just... Well, she can reach my shoulders when she stretches up. But she's just a giant teddy bear, basically. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I quite like the cover and I don't think I want to add anything else onto that cover. Um, I'm just liking it as it is. It's, it's very mixed media. I'm going to pop my caravan onto here. Just using some of Sue Baker's glue. Which is uber duper duper strong. So the caravan actually goes over the edge ever so slightly, but I'm not bothered about that at all. And I'm going to give them a little step to get in, because how the heck else do you get in? So you do need a little step. Let's put it up because we can push that underneath, can't we? Get rid of that glue. Okie dokie. So, thanks for bearing with me. Venus, we didn't know what we were going to do. Um, and if I didn't, you definitely didn't know what I was going to do. So, that's a very quick um, journal with the camper. And I will patch up these corners. And I might add a few squiggles and things on once the wax is completely dry. And um, I'll share the finished article on my blog. Okie dokie, thanks for joining me. Bye.